After Kraven the Hunter got killed by his son because he thought he was Spider-Man, he got angry and wanted to avenge his father from Spider-Man. After some time, he comes up with a plan to revive the Green Goblin by making a spear that makes a human go mad like a goblin. At Oscorp, while Peter and Norman were working on a project, Craven's son broke in, so they quickly rushed to suit up. When Norman went in to wear his suit, he saw Craven's son waiting for him. He told Norman that he will make him whole again. Norman tried to fight off, but Craven's son got the upper hand on him. He put Norman on the ground, and before he could stab Norman with the spear, Peter quickly swung in and took the hit protecting Norman. While Peter was screaming in pain, everybody ran because of a fire that grew on his body. After a few moments, Peter stood up with red fire in his eyes, laughing a goblin-like laugh. In the next scene, we see Peter sitting in the dark at his apartment. His thoughts are blazing about what happened with him, so he decides to give Craven's son a visit. After a few moments, Norman rushes to Peter's apartment to check on him. When he enters the apartment, he sees that Peter is nowhere to be found, but the suit is still there. Back to Craven's son, he's concerned that Peter might kill him, but he gets motivated after looking at his father's picture, so he decides to face him. While he's getting ready, a black-suited Spider-Man crawls behind him and stabs him with poison. Then Peter screams at him to run away. Craven's son starts on running while Peter kept following him, and every time he tried to stop or hide, Peter attacks him. In the end, Peter buries him while he's still alive. After that, Peter even goes and unplugs life support off of Tombstone, then swings away while laughing. Back to Norman, he goes to MJ's to warn them that something has gotten wrong with Peter, and he's hurting people that he may hold a grudge against. So MJ and Paul quickly get on the road to drive out of the city. After that, Norman stays at the apartment waiting for Peter. He hears a sound, so he turns the light on, Peter appears behind him and asks Norman where did Paul go. Then Peter gets angry because Norman won't tell him where they went, so he holds him up and screams that he didn't forget what he did with Gwen, so he starts beating him for it. Then Peter starts laughing and leaves Norman and goes to find MJ and Paul. So Norman quickly goes and dig out Craven's son, asking him to help them stop Peter. While Paul and MJ are driving in traffic, Peter attacks them. He takes Paul and holds him on top of the bridge. But before Peter could kill him, Craven's son jumps in and tries to convince Peter to stop. Peter takes off his mask, revealing his red eyes, and tells Craven's son that he will hurt him so bad, then a fight between the two breaks. Peter gets the upper hand on him and nearly wins the fight. But when he's about to finish him, Craven's son holds him tightly. Then Norman stabs him with the spear, making the goblin effect vanish from Peter's body. After a few moments, Peter wakes up and apologizes to everyone, and MJ tells him that he didn't do anything wrong, it wasn't him. In the end, Peter gets hospitalized and everyone goes home. But we see now that Norman is trying to prevent himself from re-becoming the goblin. That's the story for now. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.